How to write a review on Zillow.com for Tammy Jerome. In the email provided, we gave you a link that will take you directly to her profile page on Zillow. Click on that link and follow along. Once you arrive to her profile page, look for her name Tammy Jerome and right underneath that there will be a link that says write review. Click on that. There you will arrive at the review page. Here you will first rate your experience with Tammy Jerome. So you can click on the stars at any rating you'd like. And then in the box below you will write your comments and descriptions of your experience with her. After that, click on the checkbox to agree to Zillow's terms and guidelines. Here you will choose what service was provided, so whether she helped you buy a home or sell a home. Then you will enter the year of the transaction, so what year did she sell your home or buy your home. Then in the last box you will enter the full address of the property. So it would be the address, the street, city, and zip. Once you've completed that, you'll click on the Submit Review button. After clicking on the Submit Review button on the previous page, a window will pop up giving you three choices to sign in and finalizing your review. The first choice is to register, meaning if you do not have a Zillow account already, you can register for a new account. Just provide a valid email address, password, and then click register. From there, they will send you a confirmation link via email that all you need to do is click on and your review will be posted. The second option is to sign in, meaning if you already have a Zillow account, you can sign in with, with your existing password and email address. And then click the sign in button and you're done. The third option would be to connect with Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, you can sign in with your Facebook email address and password. It's very convenient and it's very simple because you already have the account. There's no other extra work to do. Just sign in like you sign in for Facebook and you're all done. And then click login and you're set. 